Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about project operator. So it is very important for us uh, to select the required data from a table. Um, sometimes we need to select a couple of columns. Sometimes we need to select all the columns. Sometimes we need to select uh, uh, all the columns except uh, a few of them. So with the project, uh, it gives us uh, all those different options uh, that we can use uh, to select the required data from the table. Um, and especially this is uh, happening uh, as uh, you have hundreds of columns sometime in table or even, you know, let's say you even have your 50 uh, columns, but still get uh, very messy uh, when uh, you need to select few of them uh, and uh, then uh, exclude some of them. Uh, now let's take a look on this uh, project operator and see how this uh, can help us. Um, so first of all, uh, uh, I'm going to drop this table. This is a... Uh, uh, our customer table and I'm going to create this table with a few columns such as customer ID, F name, last L name, salary, hire data. So just pay attention to this uh, table. So we will uh, play with these columns. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and insert some data into this table. Uh, and uh, here we would like to select all the columns from customer table. So what you can do, you can select uh, or write the table name and just uh, run. Uh, once you do that, uh, it's going to show you all the columns the way it is uh, created. Uh, so right there, uh, customer ID, first name, last name, salary, and all that. So it's the order is going to be the same in which you have created the table. Now, if you are interested to select few of the column or add an extra column to it, that's possible. So what you will do, you will say customer, then you have pipe sign, then you would use the word project here, then list the columns. In this case, we do not have actually whole lot columns. So it is easy for us to list all columns. So we are going to say customer ID, then first name is equal to F name. See right there, if we would like to replace this F first F name with the first name, we can kind of do the alias as well. So for the now for next uh, what we would like to do we'll say full name equal to the cat string and then uh, uh, we what we are going to do we are going to use f name and l name so we are concatenating these uh, two columns uh, to build our full name so that's possible so project uh, give us uh, this uh, different options of where we can uh, select what the columns we need we can rename the columns for our output uh, and we can also build the new columns uh, now think about that uh, you have uh, uh, tons of uh, columns uh, for one of the table and uh, you would like to get uh, all the columns uh, but not uh, a few of them. Uh, so in this case, uh, let's say you don't want to get the higher date and salary, what you can do, you are going to say customer, that's table name, project away. So you're going to use a project away that means exclude these columns. Uh, so if I will run this uh, statement right now, with, it's going to bring me all the columns. Uh, but if I would like to exclude these two columns, I, ha I have to simply say project away and then a list of those uh, columns. Um, once I execute that, uh, it's going to only show me the co remaining columns. Uh, Project away is very helpful, especially in the cases where you have a lot of columns and you want to just exclude few of them. So you can simply exclude those and then it will give you everything but remove those columns from your output. Now think about that, what you would like to do if you want to keep some of the columns and do not display the other ones. So in this case, let's say we can use project keep and then say asterisk name. So any column that has name in it. So in this case, if I will execute my query, it's going to return me all that. So F name, L name and all that. So if I want to get just any column that has the asterisk and name. So here I said doesn't matter it's F name, L name or whatever anything as long as it has name in the column name get me those column and also get me the customer ID so what we are doing here we are only keeping those columns which qualify this criteria so it will exclude all the columns but only bring us the column that we want to keep so here you see that customer ID right there and then we have all the other columns this this project keep is bringing us so that's one way to get the list of a required column and now what you would like to do if uh, you would like to rename the columns for your uh, output. Uh, so in this case, uh, let's say we would like to get all the columns, uh, customer ID, first name, last name, uh, salary and higher data. But uh, we would like to change uh, the naming convention name for our F name and L name. For the L name, uh, what we would like to do, we'll say last name. For the F name, we would like to say first name. You see that uh, we are using project rename. 
So that means it is going to return us all the columns and rename only these column according to the new name and convention what we have provided. So see here customer ID is come in and instead of F name we are getting first name. Remember right there that's what it is and for the L name we are getting last name and then the salary, hire date and all other columns will come as it is. So this is very helpful uh, um, as well. Now there is another one uh, that we can use uh, project reorder. So if you would like to reorder your columns that is possible. So let's say we would like to display hire date first, salary again and then uh, remaining columns after that we would like to display we can use a project or reorder. So it is going to show you all the columns what you have reordered here and then the rest of that as it is. So let's go ahead and execute. Now in this case you can see that the salary and the high date. So high date is coming first then salary is coming and the rest of the column are in the same sequence the way we have created a table. So this is also helpful because you have 50 columns and you feel like oh I need to get this column first. You can always do use projector reorder and then provide the list of the column you would like to display first and then the remaining column will come as it is. I hope this project keyword or operator will help you to select the data uh, for your different queries and I thank you for watching my videos. Uh, I appreciate if you like uh, and subscribe my channel. I will see you guys in the next videos.